bet John Jones versus Gustafson? Yeah, I'm stuck on both fights. That's all I want to tell people. It's, that I wouldn't bet me. I can't bet either. either of they're, them. they're both very good matchups. Very For good Chris, matchups. Chris Cyborg, you have to give her an advantage because she's so much bigger and because she just doesn't seem to lose. She's just smashing people. She's got really, really good technique, and she's super powerful, and she's really big, and she's got a lot of success. And then Amanda Nina is, is w without a doubt, the hardest hitting Bantamweight. She's a fucking smasher, man. She's she with a great, long, great camp. She's yeah, with AT&T. Long shoulders. I mean, long, she keeps people on the end of punches. She'll, she's going to test Cyborg. You know, We're going to find out whether or not she could hurt her. And if we find out if she can hurt her, this could get crazy. Who the fuck knows? Because Amanda Nunes can crack. If she hurts Cyborg, it could get crazy. But if she can't. She hits harder than Holly, I think, in my humble opinion. Um, I think Holly is a, a great kicker. And Holly is, uh, you know, she's really good at movement and she's very durable. And uh, Holly managed to go the full distance with Cyborg, you know. It was a hard fight. It was a hard fight and she lost that fight. Um, the, th the difference between Holly and Amanda Nunes, I think, is like one shot power is better for Nunes. But, you know, Holly, when you f she fought Jermaine Garandami, she when she fought Jermaine, uh, she knocked her down. She knocked her down a straight left. She hurt her. She hurt her a couple of times. She head kicked her. She hit her with a question mark kick and, and head kicked her. And Jermaine Durandamy is really good, heavy heavy duty Muay Thai fighter. But she didn't want to fight Cyborg. Holly did. Cyborg's just the biggest and the best in terms of like her, you look at her success ratio. You look at what, the way she beats girls down. She's so powerful, man. But Amanda is the toughest fight this for her is, this ever. Is, this is yeah. This is this is a fight. Type. If you go back to uh, Cyborg's fight with Gina Carano, uh, Gina Carano at one point in time was on top of her on the ground. She didn't sustain it, and she lost the fight. And Cyborg eventually smashed her. But there were, Gina had her moments in that fight, you know. And I don't think Gina was ever the one shot cracker that Amanda is. However, Cyborg's way better than she was back then. But you know, so is Amanda. Amanda, you know, coming off of the Raquel Pennington fight, you watch that fight. She dominated Raquel Pennington, and I think Ra Raquel's one of the toughest girls in the division. She's, she's a hard woman, and she, she beats a lot of really good fighters, and she, she gave Holly Holm all she could handle and got a split decision. Um, lo lost to Holly Holm in Holly's debut in the UFC. I mean, she's fucking good, and Amanda Nunes handled her. It was very, very impressive. It was scary, like dismantling. She's beating her up. I was like, wow. Like she's on another level now. As a champion, she's gotten even better. She was always really good. She was always really dangerous. But as a champion, she got even better when she beat Ronda Rousey in 48 seconds. That was the big yeah, coming out party. Like yeah. here we are, baby. She's she's the best bantamweight ever. You know, in terms of like her her ability to knock girls out. Like pff, she's the scariest of all time. She's the only one. I mean, Cyborg can't make 135. Amanda Nunes can. She's a legit 135 champion, you know, and she's got it down now, too. She can go five rounds. She can she can beat the fuck out of you for five rounds now. It's different. 